Supergoop also has a gallon of sunscreen. Did you know that? I wonder if I should do a video where I try an entire gallon of sunscreen. Anyways, three super dupes for Supergoop that Kylie Jenner and Dr. Dre got me trying on my skin. Yes, no kidding. These are some inexpensive dupes for Supergoop's best-selling sunscreens, from the powder to the unseen sunscreen to the glow sunscreen. Supergoop makes some of the most amazing sun care products. However, other brands have seen this and gotten interested. They've started to create very competitive products, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on what's going on, if they're actually worth the money, if they are truly dupes, and what Kylie Jenner and Dr. Dre have to do with this. Let's actually start with the Trader Joe's and the regular unseen sunscreen. So this unseen sunscreen took the internet by storm, and for good reason. It is a clear Vaseline texture fluid that just soaks into skin. It feels like a makeup primer, and it is totally invisible on literally every single skin tone. It's not like white and it blends out. As you can see, it's literally clear, and it stays clear. It gives you kind of a dewy sheen. It's absolutely gorgeous, but unfortunately, it's $38 to $48, depending on where you get it. Sephora website had it for $48. Supergoop's website had it for $38. It's an amazing formula, and yes, it's worth the money, but it's expensive. Now, Kylie Jenner actually did something that I was not expecting. Kylie Jenner tried to rip off Supergoop by creating a dupe that basically had kiwi oil in it. And I reviewed the ingredients of this about a year to a year and a half ago, and I was actually really impressed. This is a product from Kylie skin that I would actually buy. Now, did I? No. And even if I would, unfortunately I can't because apparently it was discontinued. I didn't know it was discontinued. I don't know why it was discontinued. Did Supergoop try to sue Kylie Jenner because they stole her formula? Probably not. But the formulas were remarkably similar, if not practically identical with the addition of Kylie's kiwi seed oil. And I have to say, having a $30 sunscreen from Kylie skin that was almost identical to Supergoop, I fucking loved to see it. And that is really good for us as the end consumer because when brands are competing, it means that the price comes down for us and we have more options to choose from rather than a brand having a monopoly on the entire unseen sunscreen sector. But the Kylie Jenner sunscreen was discontinued, but then somebody else jumped into the picture. Mr. Trader Joe's decided to come over here and create a daily facial sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 40. Holy shit. The internet went wild over this as well. And I have to say, I tried this on my skin, literally back to back with the super goop, trying to see how it worked. This is an absolute absolute dupe, almost down to every last detail, except for the fact that the Trader Joe's one broke me out and the Supergoop one did not. Now, here's the verdict. The Trader Joe's in-store is $8, if you can find it where it's not sold out. I found it on Amazon for $16 from a reasonable retailer. The Unseen Sunscreen is, again, closer to $40. This is an absolute dupe from texture to the way it wears to the way it feels. Problem is, this one broke me out and it's always sold out. And because this is within my price bracket, because I love the Unseen Sunscreen and I have other sunscreens that I rotate through, I still go to the Super Goop and I do still use it. But Trader Joe's does have a super dupe for this. And if you are trying to save money on the Unseen Sunscreen, absolutely. Both of them are waterproof, both SPF 40, vegan and cruelty free, oil free, only one is eight, if you can find it in stock or 16 online, and the other is a much more expensive. After the success of the Unseen Sunscreen, Super Goop launched the Glow Screen. Now the glow screen is very different and I actually didn't know that this existed because um, I call myself a medical esthetician who loves and uses and tries and buys all the products but I did not know that this <laughs> existed and I was out of the loop and I heard that the internet was going crazy over this super goop dupe from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I actually tried the e.l.f. Cosmetics next to the regular super goop and I was like, how is this a dupe? This one is tinted. I made the mistake, I was wrong. People are saying that this is a dupe for the glow screen. Now the super goop glow screen is very similar to the unseen sunscreen, it has a very very similar texture. The difference is that this has glowy pigments in it and it's a little bit less heavy on the skin. It feels more like a lightweight foundation rather than a primer. Now it is gorgeous, it is glowy, but it is also a little expensive and that's when this e.l.f. Woe Glow SPF 30 came out. Now there's the biggest difference right there, not only the price because this is 14 and this is 40, but this is an SPF 30 whereas the Super Goop is an SPF 40. Everyone online was telling me that these were absolutely identical. And again, when I first tried this, I put it on my face thinking it was a dupe for the original and I was like, why does this have a sheen? Why is my face changing color? Well, it's because this is tinted and now I know. The cool thing about Super Goop is that there are multiple shades depending on what skin tone you have, whereas the e.l.f. only has one. This is the Sun Touchable in the color Sunbeam. And let me say, even off the bat, you can see that there is a bit of a difference. So when the internet was first talking about this dupe and I got it in my hands, I was like, are y'all sure? Are you kidding me? The Super Goop comes off a slightly darker color and it actually blends in a little bit better. Do you see how it's like 
really rub it in. Whereas the e.l.f. Cosmetics, it starts off like a tinted pasty, but then it actually changes colors. Now, it takes a hot minute to rub in, but when it does, it actually turns this really pretty golden color. I applied two fingers worth, which ended up kind of being a lot, but it ended up kind of looking like a highlight on my skin. Do you see those two differences? Now, when I wore them throughout the day, I actually didn't notice a huge difference. They both performed very similarly. They both gave me a little bit of a glow. The e.l.f. is slightly more iridescent, so if you are worried about sparkling, for instance, if you have acne scars and acne texture, then the glitter and the zinc and the mica in here might not be your best friend. But for most people, these are so incredibly similar. And when you're looking at a $14 price tag instead of a $40 price tag, that makes the choice really simple for some. When it comes to the SPF 30 and 40 as well, you should always be reapplying your sunscreen, but babe, we've spoken about it before. Even if you're not reapplying, the fact that you have a sunscreen in your routine means that you're doing a good job. Keep it up, baby. But if you're really worried about it or if you're someone who's not gonna reapply and you have the money, the glow screen is really good and it's a little less glittery for those of us who have acne scars or fine lines and wrinkles that pigment can get stuck in. But if you're someone who is going to wear this under makeup, holy shit, you're gonna wear this under makeup. The e.l.f. is $14, it's an SPF 30. This is amazing and it gives you a glow through your foundation. Whereas the Super Goop, I find that it rubs in a little bit more sheer. Overall, these are very, very minute differences. Super Goop is a little bit more lightweight. The e.l.f. is a little bit heavier, but for 99% of people, they wouldn't even notice a difference. And you and I, baby, we are skin intellectuals. I am literally someone who turns and learns every product and I sit there and I look through it and I rub it on my skin and I test it out and I look for the most minute differences in everything. So when there are slight differences like the texture or like if it's a cool yellow or a warm yellow that the sunscreen reflects back at me, I'm going to be looking for and noticing that, whereas most people won't. And I would say that for the majority of people who are trying to save money, especially if you're using this for like a glowy look under foundation, the e.l.f. Woe Glow is an absolute dupe. And um, when I first tried this, I had gotten it wrong. So now I am standing corrected. And I do need to take you back to pre-pandemic times, specifically with this. This was actually the first Super Goop product I ever tried. Before any of the Unseen Sunscreens, I tried their Invisible Setting Powder SPF 45. Now this Super Goop product was one of the first and this got me to love powdered sunscreens. Now, back then I believed the bottle and thought that the SPF 45 was actually an SPF 45. There is new news on that. We can talk about that in another video, but the TLDR is that SPF powders do not give you the same coverage as applying your SPF. These are great for reapplication, but not for primary application. All of that being said, I had originally spent like 35 to 40 bucks on this mother. Again, this little guy is so fun, so cute. Cute. It's a mineral sunscreen SPF 45 that you can brush onto your face or yes, even your hairline if you're in the sun. Now, the thing I hated about it was how fast I go through it. You see, as someone who has acne high and still breaks out, I was so used to packing on primer, concealer, foundation, filling in my acne scars, then putting powder all over it, trying to make myself look matte because I have naturally oily skin and I didn't want to look all, you know, shiny and dewy. So when I was using this a few years ago, when I loaded up on foundation, I felt like I needed full coverage all the time, I would go through a bottle of this in like a week or two, like way too quickly. And um, it was not sustainable. And so I stopped purchasing it because it was too much. I would still use it to like dust things on, but I would use a primary powder instead. And I would just use a sunscreen underneath my makeup. Well, Dr. Sandra Lee MD ended up coming through with a super goop, super dupe that is fantastic. I, again, found this before the pandemic and I actually thought it was so curious how similar they were. I was wondering if they were made from the same manufacturer Manufacturer, but they do look slightly different. So again, conspiracy theory time. We can go down that conspiracy theory wormhole another day. This right here is the UV Bounce SPF 30 sunscreen. It's a mineral brush on protection. And again, here comes a difference. This is SPF 30 instead of SPF 45. I also don't know if the Super Goop one comes in different shades. I've always purchased the same one in translucent. I think they do have other shades though. Whereas Sandra Lee MD has like four or five shades. Now here are the two big kickers. Number one, is that the Super Goop only has one active sunscreen ingredient. It's zinc oxide at 24.5%, whereas the Sandra Lee MD has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And I do find that the Sandra Lee MD one does tend to cover my skin a little bit better. And I really rely on these primarily if I'm looking to touch up sunscreen 
on a day that I am wearing makeup. But the Sandra Lee MD UV Bounce is only $29. 29 bucks versus 35 to 40. Now, unfortunately, this has been hard to find. Literally up until like last year, Sandra Lee MD had this at Target as well as their website. I don't know if it's gone. I don't know if they're remaking it, rebranding it. I don't know what's going on, but it's been harder to find. And when I tried to repurchase it in other colors, I'm like, why is it showing up on like eBay and Poshmark? This is shade 003 that I use as bronzing. I use shade 001 all over my face. And for the super goop, again, I think they have other colors, but I've just always used the translucent one because that was the one that I used to buy and I always did. Now, is this an absolute super goop dupe? Well, kind of similar to the e.l.f. Cosmetics. I wouldn't say it's absolute. There are a few differences, such as the SPF 30 versus the SPF 45, the active ingredients and the color differences, etc. But when I'm putting them on my face, when I'm wearing them throughout the day or touching up my hairline, they work and feel almost exactly the same. They both absorb oil. I can put these on over my makeup, reapply my sunscreen and feel great when I'm enjoying fun in the sun responsibly and protected. And again, it's made by Dr. Pimple Popper. She knows what she's doing. Supergoop is made by professionals. They make some of the best best sunscreens out there. And there are cases where, again, I will still purchase the expensive stuff from Supergoop, especially their body stuff. Supergoop also has a gallon of sunscreen. Did you know that? I wonder if I should do a video where I try an entire gallon of sunscreen. Anyways, <laughs> Supergoop does make some of the most amazing sunscreens, but when it comes to these three, these are three Supergoop super dupes that I feel like you need to know about. And depending on your skin, how you're using these products, and most importantly, your budget, you can use these babies instead of Kylie's skin, or instead of having to spend too much money on something that we should be reapplying every day and should really be a staple in our routines. If there's another super good product you need me to try, please leave it in the comments below. Again, I've linked all of these right here in the little YouTube button. If you click that, it actually shows you the products. You can save them for later or look at the ingredients. Remember to always turn and learn so that you understand the cosmetic chemistry of what makes these products so similar or different. And then you can try to understand what's right for your face. And always remember to reapply that sunscreen. I'd recommend the UV bounce. Make sure that you are staying hydrated, both orally and topically and be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video where I tried the Super Goop sunscreen versus the Trader Joe's and it did break me out and which one I'm repurchasing now. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.